Hi everybody, Dr. Daniel Ian here at the Center for Musculoskeletal Function in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. And today we're going to be discussing office ergonomics. Uh, I want to share with you a few insights on what we can do and as well as show you a few exercises, micro breaks that you can do right at your desk at your workstation. The big three when it comes to office ergonomics are having an adjustable monitor, an adjustable workstation including the keyboard and mouse, and an adjustable uh, work chair. You want at least two of these three to be adjustable so that you can vary your posture and get into a good ergonomic posture throughout the day. Uh, if you have one or less that are adjustable, you're going to run into an ergonomics issue that can lead to pain and discomfort throughout your workday. So think about your own workstation, the type of forces that you do repeatedly, and the kind of postures you take on throughout the workday. So for example, if you're typing and then your posture starts to fatigue and your head starts to come forward and your shoulders start to round, uh, and then you're reaching for uh, a heavy item and creating grip forces throughout your hand, especially on these big three ring binders that can stack quite a bit of papers, um, as well as, you know, using shears, even pinching forces like these small clips, um, alligator clips, getting into a neck bent position while continuing to type like this. All of these things can add up throughout your workday and cause you uh, injury and fatigue in your body. So now we're going to go right into some movements that are going to help you right at your workstation uh, that you can do as a micro break throughout your workday. So first reset the posture by what's called Brewer's position. You come to the edge of your chair, get your hands out to your side, your thumbs are pointing back. Um, you're going to get tall right at your sternum, right at your chest here. And then you're going to retract the chin in, almost like you're trying to make a double chin, but you're elongating the neck, letting the neck get tall, holding five seconds and release. Hold five seconds and release. Think of it as like somebody pulling you from the top of your head straight up as you're retracting the chin and release. So then we're going to go ahead and release some of the forearm muscles here in the front and we're going to place our hand right at our desk and we're going to be uh, perpendicular to it. We're going to lean right into it and then lean the head away. All right, so one. And I want to do five to ten of those as well, and I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to get the other side of the forearm here. So I'm going to do five to ten, holding for five seconds, and relax, and relax. Now let's think of our shoulders. We would do both sides as well, but th let's think of our shoulders. So we got to get that movement up. So we want to get get into a big Y here, Y, and then into a big T. A W here and then an L. So you can see I'm creating an L here. And don't just think of the shoulders and arms moving, think of the shoulder blades. So Y, T, W, I can feel my shoulder blades coming in close to my spine and then an L. So Y, T, W, L. Go ahead and try these and these micro breaks are going to help you uh, reset the posture, get blood flow into the areas that um, get postural strain and help with the fatigue at work. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next one.